Hello everyone, it's Seth the Programming. With me today, <laughs> with me today, I have uh, Swag Kage. Uh, hey, what's going on, everybody? Yeah, also known as uh, Chuck or Clyde. And, um, yep, today we're doing Sasuke versus Kakashi. For no particular reason. I just thought it was interesting. Kind of see them start to scrap off in the Five Kage Summit at the very end. Uh, it's implied that Kakashi's gonna have to fight him like he's in Fadorochi Maru stuff like that. So we don't want to talk about the Five Kage Summit too much, as it does seem pretty clear that Sasuke and the Five Kage Summit, uh, by the time he has the Susano and is fighting Donzo, would probably win. Uh, while Kakashi could absorb an arrow with his Mangekyo, how many arrows can Sasuke shoot uh, that yeah. Kakashi would have to use Kamui to avoid? It, it seems like it's way easier for Sasuke to fight than Kakashi. Also, Sasuke's speed with that form is just so insane that Kakashi cannot react normally. He has to react with Mangekyo calmly. So it's very clear that Sasuke probably wins that fight pretty much most yep. of the time, unless you think Kakashi like calmly's his head off. It's always something that could happen, you know, who knows, but it seems unlikely. Yeah, it's one of those things where like if you were to do it in like an RPG, it would be like a like a one percent to hit, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a like a hard to hit one hit KO Pokemon move or something. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so uh, the other thing we're gonna be talking about, I suppose, then, is we want to talk about Pain Arc Kakashi versus Itachi fight Sasuke, which is probably more interesting. And there's a yeah. lot more things to talk about. So I guess I'll let you start since I had like a two minute intro here. So I feel like if these two are in character, it probably wouldn't like go to the death unless something crazy happened, right? Mm. Cause Sasuke at this point in the story is portrayed as like kind of more heroic and stuff. Uh, doesn't like to kill people. You know, all that stuff. Like, he won't even kill the goons that Orochimaru sends at him to practice. He, like, non Unless you think all he was going to kill and murder all of Team 7. Then, yeah. yeah. Maybe. So, the way that you can justify that is, like, maybe he was just going to call Kieran to scare them and make them leave. Maybe. Which I don't think is unlikely, given what he does later, Another right? Another narrative thing that someone else brought up to me is that, you know, I was talking to people about Sakura's narrative and you know, trying to justify Sasuke's behavior, uh, and is it, like, toxic for the the heroes to always chase after him, blah, 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 why is he trying to kill them? And one of the, the reasons he wants to kill these characters is because he wants to cut off the past completely so he can feel unhindered in his path to be an Avenger and do his yeah. thing, where he feels like he needs to find his own path of power, and he feels like these relationships, because they exist, they can hold them back, which might explain why... He would probably he might launch a Kirin at Team Seven, <laughs> or you know, be like, "Oh, Kakashi, I wanted to kill you really bad," or like, you know, stuff like that, or like Naruto, I need to cut you off and murder you at the end, and or I need to kill Sakura or something like that. It, it, that 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 could be reasons why, but maybe you could argue he's heroic and he wouldn't want to, but it doesn't really matter. The the other that. thing, I guess, the other thing for that is that at this point he had like completed his training right mm -hmm. so like he didn't really need to like not think about them because he was gonna go fight itachi regardless but yeah like you were saying it doesn't really matter yeah um so if we assume that they're fighting to the death then uh for some reason like kakashi stole sasuke's like nutter butter like the reason i'm like hung up on this so much is because this fight completely changes if they use like kieran and kamui Right. Okay. So if you think they fight in character and stuff, these like battle ender, like ultimate abilities don't really come up. They probably don't try to kill each other. I definitely don't think Kakashi tries to kill Sasuke. It's questionable whether or not Sasuke would try to kill Kakashi, but I'm leaning towards he probably wouldn't pre-Kage Summit. But if you are assuming that it's like the gloves are off, then I guess we can just talk about that. I mean... It depends anyway, because for Kakashi, he tends to... So this is his whole his whole thing throughout the entire series, even against Zabuza when he was rusty, is he always holds back. Like, almost always holds back. One of the only times we see him not holding back is when he's saving someone else or after the death of Edo Zabuza, where he says, all right, I'm mad. Like, I'm actually going to go all out. Like this war needs to yeah. go like and it's actually explained in the data book that he never uses strength unless it's needed which also explains one of the reasons in the zabuza fight like after zabuza killed haku or 
he killed Haku and then Zabuza tried to slash him, why he was started like to backhand Zabuza because Zabuza started becoming like conflicted and Kakashi started getting mad and he's like, no, dude, you need to wake up a bit. Like you're clearly not doing what you believe and stuff like that. But in a good example of this is when fighting Kakazu, he never whips out the MS and he only implies he was going to whip it out at the end when Kakazu was going to blast him when he's on the ground with fire. And then he's like, yes, I could have beat Kakuzu with MS, but I'd be in the hospital right now. And I was trying not to. So you could argue the same for Sasuke, that he just would not use the MS at first. Uh, whereas Sasuke might not use Curse Mark II at first. And with Kirin, he doesn't use that until he's out of Chakra at the very end, which was his grand plan versus Itachi. Yeah. It's because he doesn't require pretty much really any Chakra of significant amount to control Kirin to launch at his foes while they're both exhausted. And it's like an insanely powerful jutsu even without his yeah. chakra. So. I, I definitely think it's more likely that he uses CS2 than it is that Kakashi uses Kamui. Like even if it is um yes. a death match. So they're definitely both like at that like Akatsuki level bare minimum. Because yes. like Kakashi's clashing with Kakazu and Sasuke's fighting Daedara. Yeah. Um, but they both like lose and it's like you said, it's implied that they have to bring out like their their next level abilities in order to actually keep up. Like Sasuke needs CS2 and Kakashi needs uh, Kamui. Right. One argument you might be able to make is that, yeah, Sasuke might be implied to be able to fight in that Kakazu battle and potentially win. Yeah. Which is somewhat implied by Kakashi and Naruto, where Naruto feels inferior to Sasuke and still inadequate about his performance while thinking about Sasuke after beating Kakuzu with the Rasen Shuriken, possibly implying that Sasuke would have done better. And which is crazy because Kakashi's like, wow, dude, like you're you even surpassed me in that fight, which granted he did technically do more damage to Kakuzu than Kakashi. But as we know, Kakashi might have been able to pretty much almost solo with the Mangekyo, yeah. whereas Naruto couldn't with this roster jerk and stuff. I'm just gonna say I don't think Kakashi was being like honest whether it was with Maybe himself Maybe he just meant like whatever. the normal Sharingan version or something. Yeah but, but there, I don't think I think that he was just being humble saying that Naruto trying to make surpassed him, him. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But, well, I mean, also, I think, like, Kakashi may have genuinely believed it, even if it's not true, because the Ross and Shuriken is extremely impressive. Right, maybe right? he just meant the power um, of that surpassed him, even. Yeah, I, I don't think that if they were to scrap hand-to-hand -hand, that Naruto would actually beat up Kakashi, unless yep. he used, like, a bajillion clones. Which is um, pretty confidently secured with the pain arc, where three yeah. Tomo Sharingan Kakashi seems to be way stronger than base Naruto. In fact, some people debate about Kakashi versus Sage Naruto in that arc, which I do think Sage Naruto no. wins, but... I think yeah. Sage Naruto slaps him. Yeah, but it's very clear that Kakashi's still stronger yeah. than base Naruto. Like, you know. I think that the Kakashi pain stuff is extremely impressive, but not as impressive as a lot of people make it out to be. Now, I've talked about this to Gas Kakashi up in the past before. Yep. How Kakashi does fight these stronger pains because like power Jiraiya looks at as well. Yeah, yeah. Jiraiya looks at these like it's the Prada animal and what's the other one? Is it the Naraka one? Yeah. I think, uh, so. I think it's the Prada animal and Naraka. And like these are not like these are bum paths. The weakest ones, pretty much, for the most part. Yeah. The, well, the animal's not the weakest. I think if like you swapped out animal for human, then it would probably be the three weakest. But we can at least agree though that the Asura and Tendo are probably the strongest. And yeah, yeah. I agree with that. And like Jiraiya looks at them and he's like, I li like he literally says, I can't damage them. Yeah, like I can't even fight them. And then Kakashi is able to fight like Tendo and Asura. And, like, Asura, like, rips off Jiraiya's arm. Now, now we've talked about this before. Maybe Jiraiya was off guard there. I think it's really weird because he yeah. says a whole thing to Jiraiya. He's like, you warned me not to... So, so this is the, the weirdest statement ever because he literally says, you warned me not to lower my guard, Sensei. But then Jiraiya literally hears that and still gets beat up and, like, his arm ripped off. So it's like... Even if he was caught off guard, which is like definitely implied by the statement, the fact that he heard the whole sentence and still couldn't even like put up his like chakra defense amp or whatever in right. time is like mad weird. Um. So so in any case, 
Like, Kakashi's able to Raikiri this thing, not completely kill it. It can still shoot missiles, but, like, blow it up. So, you could argue that maybe he's doing better than Jirai. But the thing is, Pain's not going all out. Yep. Pain is like, I kind of need to know where Naruto is. Can you tell me? Kakashi's not cooperating. And then he's like, oh, okay, you're a little bit of a problem. I'm just going to kill you. And then he, like... He just two taps him pretty much, so... Yeah, Kakashi's just out of the equation. So... It, it, it's it, now, now, I do think it's very impressive that he was able to get pain to like recognize him as a threat and say, oh, I need to get rid of you. But it's disingenuous to say that he was like beating up Tendo. And What's Asura even crazier is that the Tendo pain is able to stab Kakashi and damage him faster than anyone in the series we've seen. Like, no, not joking. I think he does it faster than anybody. The only other, like, examples are, like, say, Madara ripping out his eye or something when he's, like, fatigued on the ground or something, you know? But, like, full power Kakashi. Pain, it messes him up faster than pretty much anybody just by himself while trying not to kill him. So, yeah, he actually dodges his Raikiri point blank as well while doing it. So, it's clearly not that crazy, but it also depends... How strong do you think Kakashi gets after the pain arc? You know, do you think that every fight his Mangekyo and his Sharingan massively evolve, which might be somewhat implied by Obito saying, oh, so you've mastered your Sharingan, blah, 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 um, and stuff like that. But if you don't think he's gotten that much stronger, then Kakashi does react to MS Susano Sasuke's arrow, which would speed blitz anything Sasuke's done before that. So... If you don't think Kakashi got that much stronger, then Kakashi would probably stomp CM2 Sasuke or speed blitz him pretty badly. Yeah. Which maybe it makes sense if you think that even, you know, Pain would do extremely well in the Kage Summit as well, which might be narratively implied. And then, you know, you have Kakashi keeping up with Kage Summit, Sasuke with his MS somewhat. So that depends as well on how much you think Kakashi's grown. Some people like to think he grows astronomically. Some people think he doesn't really grow that much at all. And we just, you know, it depends. It's not really stated. It's one of those things where like how much, like what do you think, right? And so what I think is, I think that he got stronger, but the amount is unquantifiable. Yeah. But what I think really matters there is that like when he stumbles back, like after he does it, yes. like he's clearly like shaken just by trying to even like, and it's not like the force, like the concussive force or whatever caused him to stumble. It's like he struggled to catch the Susano uh, arrow right. in time because of how fast it was. Yes. Whereas, like, he didn't really have trouble doing that with, like, the Asura Pads missile. Like, Kamui has never really been a thing where he's like, oh, like, I need, like... He doesn't need to be, like, too much faster than his opponent for it, right? So, like, Kakazu, when he goes into his, like, final mode or whatever, like, blitzes him... Like, with the tentacles. And then Kakashi's still like, yeah, but I could have killed him after that, right? So, like, even if Kakazu could have moved or something, he was just fine. And then, like, there's the thing with the Asura Path. He was able to sneak up on Sage Jiraiya. And then, like, Kakashi's able to, like, react to that, like, missile and, yeah. like, teleport it away. So, the fact that he was, like, that I got that close to him, like, or that it still forced him to stumble. I feel like that's, a, like... Maybe it's less of a feat for Kakashi and more of like a thing for Sasuke. Because he's able to like intercept like Madara, like summoning the no, Ghetto I, I understand what you're saying. The reason it is a feat for me for Kakashi is like, while I think it's a feat for Sasuke, definitely. You know, it, it pretty much you yeah. know, it confirms that Sasuke is completely different than anyone Kakashi's fought up to this moment. Because Kakashi's never been like, I had to whip out the MS right there or I died. Yeah. He's never said that about really anything. Maybe except for like the very end of the Kakazu fight. But that was like end of battle when he's like fatigued, you yeah. know, different. But um, the reason it's impressive for me is because base Sharingan Sasuke in that Kage Summit is stronger than his Curse Mark II form, where Kardin says his chakra is thicker and colder than it ever was in Curse Mark II just now. No, I agree. And then on top of that, he then whips out the dual MS, and then he gets even stronger while fighting Donzo, and his Susano only evolves further than that. So he's getting amps upon amps upon amps. And then Kakashi reacts to the Susano arrow, which would blitz anything Sasuke did before, which is like, it's just crazy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just think that Kamui is just one of those things that's like hacked out. And like, I think that like his reaction speed is like, so you know how like Sasuke is not actually as fast as the Raikage, but he's able to dodge the Raikage's like elbow bolt and like tag him. 
But then, like, he has to use the MS to, like, block the Raikage's attacks because he can't actually move out of the way. I think it's sort of like that. That's when he goes version 2. So what happens is is that uh, in version 1, he's, like, fighting the Raikage with, like, his, um, sure. his Sharingan. And then he goes, like, version 2, and then he basically starts, like, teleporting out of the way of say, the Amaterasu. Yeah, but you know how Sasuke is still able to, like, use, like, Amaterasu to, like, protect himself, like, on the Susanoo? I guess he's able to do, like, Jutsu activation in time or something? Yeah, that's what I mean. I think that, like, Kakashi's, like, able to see it and, like, just activate Kamui instantly. But it's not, like, yeah. a comfortable use so, of it. So, I guess if Kakashi is willing to use Kamui, his activation speed of it is just so insanely cracked that he could... Yeah. Just always, <laughs> like, avoid any fatal blow <laughs> from Curse Mark 2 if it was needed. Yeah. Now, 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 what I will also say, too, to support the idea that he got stronger is he isn't just out of commission as soon as he uses Kamui there. Like, he says he would have been in the Kakazu fight. So he definitely got way stronger from the Kakazu fight where he's, like, at a point where Kamui is, like, a safe thing for him to use. Right, like, without instantly collapsing. Well, the thing about the Kakuzu fight that's weird is that, like, with the MS at least. Because I believe versus Daedra, he tries to use the Kamui more than once. But versus Kakuzu, what needs to happen for him to win is he needs to at least Kamui the fire style. That was going to, like, blow him yeah. away. And then he has to use his MS to beat Kakuzu after that. So, I don't know. I do think he could use it at least more than once. Um, and in the pain fight, he also uses it, I think, more than once. I think he uses it... Yeah, he uses it to save himself from, like, the nail and then Choji, yeah. But that does kill him. Yeah, so, but not only does he use it to deflect the nail and then save Choji, but he does that, like, when he's so incapacitated that he can't even, like, get out of rubble. You know what I mean? Like, after using... Yeah, so I actually this think this supports what I was saying, that he just has, like, an insanely amped, like, reaction time, like, with Kamui or whatever. Because, like, pain, like you said, like, hits him and beats him up faster than anybody else. Even before the MS gives him Obito-level reactions, you remember how they were, like, linked in the, in the, yeah. in the war arc? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Yeah. But... No, but, yeah, like, crazy. you know how, like, pain was, like, blitzing him and stuff, and then, yeah. like, pain shoots a nail at him and Kakashi just reacts reacts to it and it's a like slow motion <laughs> too in the anime <laughs> so like yeah maybe his uh kamui is just like really really fast yeah ms kakashi might just be crazy too and then remember like ms kakashi was like going like sicko mode like against even like ten tails madara and stuff too like yeah i don't know ms kakashi might just be crazy like Maybe that's why dual MS Kakashi was, like, god tier, <laughs> like, yeah. to be honest, but, uh... Like, he didn't even get a six pass amp, it's actually just two star It's just like, wow, I could use my MS for more than 0.1 milliseconds, <laughs> like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, yeah. I don't know, honestly, MS Kakashi might just be insanely broken, but, um... I think it's, like, a defensive yeah, thing, Yeah, but, you know, you know then, then it's like, okay... That aside, you know, that MS, you know, crack mode aside, how well does Kakashi do normally, you know? And that's yeah. where it becomes a little bit harder to be like, oh, you know, like, oh, I think Kakashi. Because Sasuke's tough. Yeah, because, you know, it is somewhat narratively implied, like, yeah, like, Sasuke is probably, like, above the normal Akatsuki members. And even the, even the data book, which I said this in my previous recording, which didn't get uploaded, but... Uh, there is a data book statement that says, you know, Sasuke's power exceeds the Akatsuki. And one way I interpreted that was, you know, maybe he doesn't have the chakra or the jutsu to, say, be the strongest shinobi, such as he doesn't have Amaterasu and he can't use a catastrophic Shinra Tensei or Chibaku Tensei or anything of that. But, you know, maybe like base to base, you know, if Sasuke you know, shot a fireball jutsu in Curse Mark II, against, you know, and say Tendo Pain shot a fireball jutsu back, well, maybe Sasuke's would be stronger, you know, like it was in the Itachi fight, and just because Sasuke doesn't have the insane chakra reserves or techniques that the others have, that he can't overall be the strongest, but maybe base to base he was. Which is, I don't necessarily agree with, but it does seem like if the data book even has the audacity to word it that way, that maybe Sasuke is, like, high-tier Akatsuki level almost, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that, like, I I think that all it's trying to say is that he's stronger than, than like, like, the average, you know? Something yeah, like that. yeah, I think he's, like, above Akatsuki level, which, let's be honest, so are Pain and Itachi. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. And, um, 
it, that, that'd be supported by Obito being like, ah, you know, I forgot you're a member of the Akatsuki, Conan. I should probably take you seriously. And then, yeah, yeah. it goes all out. So maybe Akatsuki level is like an actual level in their brains. And then they're like, yeah, Sasuke is stronger than that. So up to you guys to decide on that. Uh, that's just one way I interpreted it myself. So I would say, on average, that Sasuke is stronger than Kakashi. Yeah, like, if they have, like, a fireball jutsu clash, Sasuke is winning yeah. that, like, a billion percent. Exactly. And if they had a boxing match, Curse Mark II is probably going to win the boxing match. But maybe, just maybe, you know, if, if Kakashi's like, I'm gonna die, and he just turns on his, like, god mode, top tier in the verse, MS, reaction ability, and calm him to death, then he wins. So, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I I don't know. I think that's all there needs to be said. I don't know if you have anything else, but I think that's pretty pretty much it. Yeah, we've kind of gone over everything. I guess I agree with you about how the fight would go, right? I think that Sasuke would like overpower Kakashi. I think I think it would actually be pretty even for the most part, like pre CS two, because yeah. like Sasuke is stronger, like base to base, and Kakashi's like smarter. But, like, Sasuke's still smart, but Kakashi's, like, giga genius mega mind. Yeah. You know, something that kind of supports it, too, is that, you know, like, look at Naruto and Sakura versus Kakashi. They couldn't, they literally could not take a bell off of his waist for an entire day while he kind of, yeah. like... While they he, cheated. They had to cheat to do while, it. While he didn't, you know, fully mess around, it's like Sakura's the girl who was avoiding Sasori and, you know, Naruto's, yeah. like pretty relative and she didn't train at all before then yeah. so she couldn't have gotten stronger exactly and it's like yeah and then you know then you have sasuke kind of like come down it's implied he could beat them too even before curse mark 2 but then it's like okay so what's better sasuke and base kind of like wiping out team seven like in a serious fight pretty fast or kakashi holding out for a whole day and it's like maybe curse mark 2 is kind of better like you know low-key you know like yeah but uh that's just my opinion i agree with that i think as soon as sasuke even curse mark 1 would start to overwhelm kakashi oh here's here's some good scaling i guess this is some old school seth scaling you know you got that uh you remember that statement from orochimaru like you're nothing compared to sasuke and that yeah, form. yeah and, the, and that's that's three two yeah when he's using yeah. like three tails so if Sasuke and Curse Mark Two is stronger than Three Tails Naruto and Kakashi's like, what if he means base, bro? Could you? <laughs> <laughs> and then Kakashi's like, wow, you have like a hundred times more chakra than me. When your Nine Tails thing starts to go a little bit crazy, and he's only referring to maybe the Two Tails form versus Daedara or something like that, or maybe he heard the Four Tails form from like Yamato's report or something like that, then it's probably very likely that Sasuke is a lot stronger than him. <laughs> so, but um, yeah. So cool, yeah. All right. So all right, uh, yeah. Thank you bye. all for uh, for watching. Uh, subscribe. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>